In the previous demonstration, we set up this patch that I can see in front of us here. Uh, what we have is we've got a number box and it's feeding into an oscillator and that oscillator is feeding into a digital to analog converter. So if I turn on the, the sound on this patch, I can hear it happening there. And at the moment, that's generating a sound wave of 330 hertz. And if I change it into run mode, I should be able to change 330 hertz just by hovering over the number box and clicking and dragging. And I can hear the sound increasing in pitch there. Okay, I'll just switch off the sound again. Now, for this demonstration, what I want to do is I want to generate random numbers to go into that number box there. And so the random numbers will then feed into the oscillator and I'll get random sounds coming out of random pitches. So to generate random numbers in pure data, what I need to do is get a random object. And so I'm going to go to the put menu and I'm going to choose object. And I'm going to place that object just above my number box that I have in there already. And to make it into a random object, I need to type the word random. Now, random, and I can look this up in the help menu, is an object that generates random numbers between 0 and whatever number that I give it uh, when I define the object. And so the number that I give it as an argument comes after a space just like with the oscillator further down in my patch. And if I random numbers uh, between 0 and 1,000, I will put in the value 1,000 here. And there's my random object. So that object will generate random numbers between 0 and 1,000. And what I want those numbers to do is I want to get them fed into this number box here. So take it from the outlet of the random object. I'm going to click and drag and drop it on to the inlet of the number box. Now there's one other thing that I have to do uh, to make this happen. The random object doesn't work in isolation. It needs something to trigger it, something to tell it, right, generate another random number. And to do that, I'm going to create a new type of object that we haven't seen before. It's called a bang object. And I can go up here to my put menu. And there is actually an option for bang here. If I click on that, we'll put a bang object straight away. Or another method for putting in a bang object that I often use in class is just to go put object and just type BNG standing for bang. And if I click off into the patch, it changes shape. But essentially, it's just another object. But because it's used so often as a button or a trigger, we get this particular shape associated with it. And so that's going to be a button that I'm going to be able to click. And once I click that button, I want to send a yes or a trigger message to the random object. So it will tell it to generate another random number. So I'm going to connect the outlet of that bang into the inlet of the random object and that should be completed. So what I expect to happen is in run mode I'm going to click the bang object that will trigger the random object to create a random number between 0 and 1000. Once that number is generated it gets fed through to the number box which in turn gets fed through to the oscillator to generate a sine wave of that frequency and that gets outputted out to the speakers. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to put it into run mode. I'm going to make sure that my sound is on and I'm going to start clicking on the bang object. And I can click as fast or as slow as I want and you can see all the different random numbers coming through there. And that's how to generate random sound waves in pure data.